I know it's no longer my business, okay? But I'm worried, so I'm gonna chase you till I get an answer. Please, please tell me that this thing you've got going with David Hayward, whatever it is, is just professional. I can't. Why not? Because I slept with him. And it's not something that I would like to advertise, okay? And I don't want to do anything that could get me deported, so can we, you know... Look, there is so much more at stake here than just your green card. All right, well, you can't tell me what to do. Well, I can sure as hell try, because I'm still your husband. Looking for something? I'm expecting a delivery. From the liquor store? <sighs> Why can't you believe that I've changed? I'm gonna prove to Marissa that I'm worthy of winning my son back. It's gotta be for real. You have to mean it, JR. It can't just be for show. I still can't believe I won custody. Right now, I just feel so lucky and happy. I mean, I have my son being with you last night. Wow, oh, that was so special. Yeah. everything that I missed. <laughs> I hope this means we're going someplace fun. <laughs> that sounds good. But unfortunately, no. Sorry. What, business? <laughs> Since when? <laughs> it just came up. How's Zach? Is he still cheering for Hayward? It's not changing his mind, and Kendall's right there with him. But it's not bringing them any closer. You see, that's Hayward, right there. He gives you life, and then he takes away any chance you can possibly have at being happy. I will call you from the airport, okay? Hey. This isn't a business trip, is it? It's about David. If you're not willing to... Griffin, 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 please, please. Just leave it alone. Listen. That's my friend. You and Zach have gone close to David. I need you to use that leverage to keep him away from my sister. Just trust me. Okay, please. It's all gonna work out. From the looks of it, he's still in love with her. When you were ready to risk your life to take a drink every time I did, I don't know, something clicked inside me. I, I just realized Realize how much you care about me. Oh, baby, I've always cared about you. Always. I'm just worried that you don't care about yourself. I'm on my way back, Bob. And I'm gonna prove that to Marissa and you and everyone else for that matter. Okay, well, just make sure that you prove it to the judge when you don't try to bribe this time. <laughs> Lesson learned. Okay, I'm taking care of business the right way now. Speaking of business, I heard you on the phone with Chandler Enterprises with the board. That did not sound good. Yeah, I've let a few things slide. But I'm going to turn it around. That's my plan. You'll see. Mm. That's probably that package I'm expecting. Okay. I'll see you around. Yes. Hey, hello, sir. Hi. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Plenty of time to turn it around, Marissa. Plenty of time. I was just about to swim over there and rescue you from the clutches of those fancy Frenchmen. Oh, well, I only had eyes for one man. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. You keep it that way, all right? Come on, tell me everything. Maybe, maybe you guys 
pick it together later. Oh, we'll talk yes, yes, it. I want to. I have so many stories to oh. tell you. Oh, Paris was fantastic. I mean, Paris just welcomed me back with open arms. Well, why wouldn't it? <laughs> but then, of course, Jack had to come back up business, so I decided I would rush back to be with my girl. Oh. And especially now that Zach is back, I mean, Kendall must be over the moon. Yes, yeah, she is, she yeah. is. But um, actually, so am I. Oh, of course you are, and we all are. I was finally able to put the nightmare of the past two months behind me, and then Jack and I fell in love again. On the oh, please! Oh, I fell in love. Look at that one. Oh, actually, oh, Bianca's life has turned all around too. Oh, and I want to hear all about it. But first, I've got to see Zach. I've got to go and see Zach. Oh, but before I forget, couldn't resist. Oh, thank you. You're just too oh. beautiful. <gasps> Would you look at that straight off the Paris runway? I feel like a million bucks, and I <laughs> bet that's what this thing costs, too. <laughs> I gotta turn it off. Wow, it's really, it's so pretty. I know exactly what you can wear it with, too. It's gonna look great. Yeah, I, uh... My mom always knows just what to buy. I just, um, I wish she knew what I really wanted her to get. You're asking me to trust you when you're backing David, the man who's using my sister. I need to support Zach. Even what, if what he wants is, is crazy. I need you to not fight me on this. Oh, you're not asking me for a lot, are you? It's because you're my friend. You are a man that I would trust with my life. Please. It looks pretty obvious. The guy's got it bad. Um, what are you doing out of bed? You know, all people should know better than that. Come on, get dressed and get back. Castillo seems a little upset. Well, he's worried about his sister. He doesn't have to worry about Kara. Unlike her brother, she has the courage to take on Project Orpheus. Can't play both sides. We're all grateful that David saved Zach, right? But he may be involved in the plane going down in the first place. Don't you see that? Yeah, but if you start digging into this... I mean, if I start digging into it, I might, find, I might find enough evidence that can put the bastard away for good. I really don't want you to do this. What's going on? It's, it's like you're afraid to, to find out the answers, you and, and the rest of this town. This is exactly what David Hayward wants. He, you're playing right into his hand. You can't tell me not to see David. Yes, you are my husband. On paper. Not in your heart. Oh, come on. Ever since Dixie came back, everything has changed. I don't owe you an explanation, Tad, and I don't owe you an apology. No. You can't just walk away. Back off, Tad. Unless you want the whole world to know that your marriage is a sham. You told him about our marriage. You put your safety, your life, in his hands. The only one jeopardizing Kara right now is you. Both Dixie and I are putting Kara's safety before everything. Except for your feelings about Dixie. My feelings for Dixie have nothing to do with this. She's living with JR so we can maintain the semblance of being husband and wife. Oh, that's wonderful. And how's that working for you, Kara? Wow, you're quite the hero, Tad. Everybody's doing the best they can except you. Back to your same old tricks. You'd put her at risk just to put another notch in your belt. Tad! That's ridiculous. I'm not doing anything to harm her. I not only value Kara as a doctor in my research, but I respect her greatly as a woman. What about all the other women you respected whose lives you ruined? Uh, you know something? But Kara is concerned, I'm very happy that I've had a chance to get to know her. And I hope you feel the same way. But no one has to know about this, Tad. 
That is, unless, of course, you feel compelled to broadcast it to your fan base. Then I guess we'll see who really cares about your wife. I know. Go ahead. Say it. You don't need me to fight your battles, right? No, I don't. And just for the record, you don't score points with me to put your cat down. The only way that Hayward can come between us is if we let him. Which is why I want you to stay away from all this. Aren't you still angry that he tried to make you believe that Leo was alive? Listen, I made it clear to him that even if Leo were to come back, my heart is with you. I know that. And now David knows it too. There was a time when people thought that Ryan would never get over losing Jillian. Who knows? Maybe he never has. You don't have Jillian. You sure about that, huh? Greenlee? Are you okay? Hey. Listen, we gotta nail him. Whatever we have to do, we cannot let that son of a bitch take down my sister. So, but it's true. You're alive. Appears that way. Until now, I mean, seeing you with my own eyes. It's like a dream come true for both of you. Yeah, she's changed a lot since that ordeal with Jane. Well, I don't know. That would have traumatized anyone. Yeah, you're right. It just feels like she's become more Erica Kane and less mom. Okay, well, I mean, you know her better than I do, but hasn't she always been very aware of herself? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, but, but then someone else became her, and we didn't even realize it. Her own daughters. And I don't know, you just saw her. She didn't even have the time to, to stop and let me tell her about the most incredible thing that's happened in my life. You. You haven't. I am going for a swim. The doctor calls it hydrotherapy. Okay. Maybe I know I've been a little hard on you. But I want you to know that I believe in you, okay? I know you can turn this around. That means a lot to me. I wonder what the judge will say when he finds out you and your girlfriend made a sex tape.